Hey, hi, hello there, and welcome to my Morgana build guide for Persona 5 Royal. This is the second of a series of 8 guide videos I'm going to be making for Persona 5 Royal, where I'll be going over all party members, best equipment, Persona skill set, best way to use them, as well as discussing the best parties each party member fits into. Due to not wanting to be thrown into the Atlas Gulag, the footage you are seeing will all be from before the third semester added into Royal. However, I will be showing off the third Persona evolution for Magana, as well as the other party members, and discussing the new skills that come from that, some of the skills from the Jazz Club that are only found in the third semester, talking about some enemies that drop specific pieces of equipment that are only found in the final dungeon, and there will also be some third semester party spoilers shown, so viewer discussion is advised. I will also be talking about some items obtained from DLC Personas, however I will provide non-DLC alternatives where relevant. If you would like a written version of this guide, please check the description below. And, without further ado, onto the video. So, with equipment, Morgana's best melee weapon is, and I apologize for butchering this, but the Clau Mer Soles R, which is acquired by itemizing the level 85 Empress Persona by the Harlot during an alarm. You do need to be at max rank with the Empress Confidant in order to be able to fuse Mother Harlot, so keep that in mind. It provides the highest attack value out of all of Morgana's weapons, as well as providing Morgana with an additional 50 SP, which is very helpful for Morgana's primary role as a healer. Now Morgana's best range weapon is the Sudarshana EX, again, poor pronunciation. Customized for maximum damage, this is obtained by itemizing Vishnu, the level 83 full persona during an alarm. For this you will need the full confidant at max rank again, but that is naturally achieved through story progression so you'll get it regardless. The best armor for Morgana is the Dragon Scale Scarf, which can be acquired from watching sooty dragon armor dropped by Fafnir in the 3rd semester dungeon. It is the highest defensive value for Morgana out of all of his armor types, with a decent evasion value as well, and provides the additional effect of heavily reducing physical damage dealt to Morgana. Now this isn't as useful as perhaps magic damage that is on other units, but physical damage is still used fairly often, so it has its uses. Now for accessories, once again, as the case for all the cast, the best accessory for Morgana is, of course, the Shiny Belt R. This is obtained from itemizing the DLC Persona Izanagi no Okami. This provides 7 SP per turn and boosts all stats by 3. Now, like I said in the Ryuji video, uh, mm, your party members don't really have a way to passively regenerate SP, and nor do they have an easy way to regen or I mean, sorry, add on to their stats like Joker does. So this is just increasingly valuable. However, it's important to note that this is even double val valuable for Morgana because he's a healer and a primary magic damage dealer. So he basically gets double the effect than what Ryuji get because he uses his SP a lot. And especially in long-term encounters, he can become pretty SP stuff later on. Now if you like the DLC, obviously the alternative is the SP Adhesive 3 from the Takemi Medical Clinic for 100,000 yen once you rank, rank 5. It's a good substitute, provides the same 7 SP but does not provide the 3 stats, so it's slightly worse but it's still pretty good. Other alternatives are the Crystal Skull R, this provides the Angelic Grace effect, which increases evasion against all uh, magical attacks except Almighty, and plus 6 in all stats. Pretty useful, um, Matt. It's probably a little bit more useful on Morgana than it is perhaps Ryuji because he doesn't have that natural evasion from his armor, so you can get a bit more use out of it here. Um, you get this from itemizing the Crystal Skull Treasure Persona Journal Alarm. You find this in the lower levels of Mementos, I believe after you beat the Shido dungeon. Other options are the Team Glasses, Seize Armband, 15% EXP and 15% Money Boost respectively. The Arm PC, which provides all stats plus 3 and a 20 SP boost. Important to note here, this does stack with the 30 SP bonus he gets from his weapon, so 50 SP bonus is pretty nice, especially on him. Uh, the Gauntlet, 
which increases evasion from criticals and magical attacks. This is probably less valuable on Morganaras because you're not stacking that evasion with magical attacks, so it's not really that much of value, but still pretty useful. And of course the Kusuno High Tubes, which provides decreases HP and SP costs of skills by 25%. Now, all of these items besides the Crystal Skull, as I said, are from the Legacy DLC pack and can be found in the cardboard box in Joker's room once downloaded. Now, onto the Persona build. Morgana is your pretty basic healer type party member. With this trait, I'll let me set him up here. Pride Presence, being pretty indicative of that, pushing that idea forward. Increasing the effect of all allies healing skills or having a chance to increase the effect of all allies healing skills It doesn't actually state the amount, but I believe it's something like 50% if I'm not incorrect uh, He possesses the lowest attack in the game and the lowest endurance Among all the party members, which is he's even lower than Futaba's But he does have the highest luck out of everyone to compensate The rest of his stats are also pretty middling um, which is not a great start. However, with this in mind, the skills you want on Morgana are Garodyne, Mark Garodyne, Miracle Punch, Debilitate, Salvation, Evade Electric, Wind Amp, and Wind Boost. Now going over these in more detail, Garodyne and Mark Garodyne are your pretty standard heavy elemental damage moves that every party ma member has, with Morgana's preordained element of wind. Boosted by Wind Amp and Wind Boost, as well as this OK magic stat at 70, Morgana's damage numbers will be quite decent, though not mind blowing, and his good SP pool will mean he will be able to use them rather liberally. Miracle Punch is a single target move dealing medium damage with a high chance of critical. Now, while Morgana's attack is absolutely abysmal, 64 is pathetic. The high chance of critical does mean it will actually deal some not completely awful damage occasionally and it's a good um, tool to use against enemies that aren't weak to wind in order to force a knockdown when you're using um, Morgana. The next skill is Salvation, which will be the go-to healing move for Morgana. Though rather expensive at 48 SP, it will full heal your party while also curing non-special elements at the same time making it very useful for the Lens Venza fight, which tends to do a lot of ailments. You could optionally sub this out for Meteor Rahan if you were worried about SP costs, however I do not believe that to be an overly necessary step, since you have an SP recovery accessory on usually, helping you out with your costs, so you should be fine. Uh, the Next skill is Debilitate. This is acquired from the Jazz Club event on the 11th of December, and it fully debuffs one enemy for three turns. As Morgana doesn't really have that many great skills in his repertoire, it's a pretty great add for him, as it provides him some pretty much needed team utility besides healing to his, his kit, instead of, you know, basically just being a healable. The final skill is Evade Electric, which is pretty self-explanatory. Morgana is weak to Electric. Electric is a pretty commonly used element, and it lets him dodge it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Well, for the third semester, Morgana's persona will evolve to its third form, Diego. Here, his trait will evolve into Majestic Presence, which on top of increasing the um, effect of allies' healing skills, also decreases, decreases the SP costs of those skills. He will earn the ability Miracle Rush, which is simply an AoE version of Miracle Punch. Um, you should replace Miracle Punch with this, as it's always better to increase your odds of getting a crit and knockdown in AoE situations by increasing the number of enemies it can hit. Generally, nothing else really changes here, unfortunately. Um, Morgana's build it's pretty stationary. Um, the new third semester jazz skills are pretty useful, but they're usually better off being used on other party members, unfortunately. For party comps, Morgana can fit quite well into any party due to his healer status. So if you need a healer, any party can work. 
However, for specific mentions, I would say pairing it with Anne so he can simp is a great combo. Anne learns an AoE Concentrate spell in the third semester, which provides a massive boost to Morgana's magical damage, allowing him to hit for some actually pretty respectable numbers. Additionally, pairing him with Sumire and Haru can make for a rather nice crit-focused knockdown combo, going along with all of their naturally high crit rate physical moves, like Haru's one-shot kill, Morgana's miracle moves, and Samira's masquerade slash sword dance, boosted by Samira's brave stat buffing crit chance. Ultimately, Morgana is not a particularly strong party member. While his healing capability is nice, generally healing isn't that important in this game, or at the very least so important that it is worth sacrificing a lot of damage for, and because of Morgana's focus on healing, he gets left out to dry. While he is far from the worst party member and can deal okay damage at times, especially when paired with someone like Ahn, it is usually better to just bring someone who is going to be able to deal good damage instead and substitute his healing by either slapping a heal bot persona on Joker, using items which are plentiful in this game, or using some of the lesser healing moves on other units. That being said, he is still pretty workable if you want to use him, and his crit stuff is pretty impressive. Thanks for watching. The next party member up is the target of Morgana's relentless simping. The BDSM Queen Anne. So I hope to see you then. Peace.